Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some alternative techniques of green screening or keying but remember that none of what I'm going to show you today is meant to be a replacement of the usual delta keyer or primat or whatever is the keyer of your choice. It's just something that you want or may want to use alongside or in some cases when the particular shot needs it. So let's get started with the first one and the first thing that we want to do is to set up a linear workflow and to do that I'm going to use a gamut node which I already have here set to remove the rec709 gamma and so let's set uh, gamut viewer lat and add a rec709 and what we want to do now is to use a dispiller. So this technique is based on the dispilling. And Fusion has many dispiller, like the Mat Control or, for example, my own macro, Advanced Dispill, which is on Reactor. But today I'm going to use the Dispiller Plus plugin, which, by the way, is on Reactor and it's made by Jacob Danel. So when you're downloading it, remember to donate. Also remember that being this a plugin, it will need the studio version of both Resolve or Fusion Studio. The reason why I'm going to use this uh, plugin is because uh, on top of the spilling, it has this neutralize button which uh, if you select the color, uh, your background will be neutralized. So what we want to do next is to um, go one step ahead and kind of do one, one strange thing, which would be merge the uh, background on top of the uh, footage that we want to key and multiply it. So as you can see, when multiplying one on top of the other, we can see both of them. So now what we want to do is to add a channel boolean and basically piping in the background the original green screen and the dispilled in the foreground and set the alpha to do nothing and the operation to subtract. And so what we end up with is just the green color. And how can we use that to our advantage? So just pipe the channel boolean into the mask input of the merge one and moving into the setting tab we can select in the channel tab here the green and now you can almost see the background but you as you can see is very very faint so what we can do now is to take advantage of the floating point uh, that we are using in fusion and we can add a brightness contrast after the background and if we increase the high here as you can see the background comes back and so as you can see we have an almost perfect result and remember that we can add a brightness contrast after our channel booleans so we can further modify it just remember to clip the blacks and the whites and for example we can clip a little bit the black and the whites here to get a better result. So as you can see, not only we have uh, preserved all the details, we also have preserved the shadows that are here even in the green screen. So this technique is mostly useful when you're dealing with soft keyings and that would be for example glasses, reflections, and things like that, or where you have to retain the um, the shadow. Uh, remember that when you're using this technique, your green screen should be very even. 
and also you want to add a denoiser and in this case I'm going to use neat video which is the best one around and we basically have a great result in some cases you may want to add a Cineon log set from linear to log and pipe it into here and you want to add another one after our background before the brightness contrast and add one last Cineon log after the merge this one should be set from log to linear so in some cases working in in log would give you even better results let's uh, move to the next one which would be again we have to uh, prepare for a linear workflow and the concept is very similar so what we want to do here is to again add a uh, dispiller plus and again we want to select the green and neutralize it and we want to add the channel booleans pipe the original video on the background and the dispilled one on the foreground do nothing in the alpha and subtract and so we extract the green and now we want to add a clean plate and in the clean plate node we want to extract the green and to do that I'm going to erode a little bit and then grow the edges maybe I can avoid just a touch more yeah something like that and what we want to do is just to copy this group of nodes and paste and we basically have again the same green extraction so now we have to uh, add a custom tool move into intermediate tab and type in g1 divided by g2 oh by the way the this one goes into background and this one goes into foreground so we have the g1 divided by g2 in the intermediate one and then in the channel we want to type in one minus i1 so what's happening is we are reversing this operation here and we want to copy that on all the channels and that's what we get it's almost a perfect mat and so what we want to add now is just another channel booleans and pipe the dispilled footage in the background and the mat here on the foreground and select multiply and just select the red channel for all the channels here and as you can see we have a pretty awesome result and again we can add a brightness contrast before the channel booleans so by clipping the black and the white we can refine these uh, touch now all we have to do is to merge these on top of our background and as you can see the result is already pretty good but we can bring this a little bit further so what we can do is add the channel booleans and by grabbing the dispeeled footage and piping it into the background and we can grab the dispeeled version of the clean plate and piping it into the foreground we can select do nothing into the alpha and subtract so here what we have is only the color information of our subject so what we can do now is add another custom tool and pipe these on the foreground and if we go into the channel tab we can add a 
couple of expression here. We want the green channel to be linked to the red channel and the same goes for the blue channel. We can add an expression to the blue channel and link it to the red expression. So we can, for example, simply type C1 plus C2. And as you can see, that has already made a whole big difference, as you can see, for example, in the hair. We also have a little bit of noise that's why we want to add a denoiser and that would be the neat video plugin um, as you can see this already made a hell of a difference and uh, maybe we want to add a little bit more um, control to this custom tool so we can move into the intermediate tab and we can type min open parenthesis 0 comma n1 close parenthesis so n1 is going to be this number in one control and this intermediate tab means that this control cannot go over 0 and we want to move back the channels here and we want to add parenthesis to this C1 plus C2 and we want to type max open parenthesis I1 comma C1 plus C2 close parenthesis and so now let's make this a little bit more tidy here let's remove all the point controls and just leave our our controls here and rename the number in one to clamp black we can do the same for the height but I don't think is necessary in this in this case so as you can see we can now control this black line a little bit and that I think makes a great difference and see before and after okay I think this is a wrap for me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry if this one is too technical or just too math in it I, but I hope this can help you get better with the green screen Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below and see you in the next one. Bye bye.